Good day from ChemHelp ASAP. The preparation of compounds within a hit or lead series always has the risk of impurities, and these impurities can have consequences. Upon completion of this video, students will be able to list typical compound purities for preclinical studies and describe the consequences of inconsistent impurity profiles. The purity of compounds that are tested and studied during drug discovery can vary based on the research stage. Early in vitro assays can be performed on lower purity material and still generate useful data. Once a lead reaches early in vivo studies like PK studies, synthesis and purification within the lead series is likely well established. Purity of compound batches will be higher, generally 98% or 99% pure for in vivo efficacy or safety studies. If all goes well with in vivo efficacy, then general toxicology studies will be performed. Depending on the intended use of the final drug, available quantities of the lead need to support months of dosing in dogs or non-human primates. Again, depending on the lead, its potency and toxicity, the material required for general toxicology can often be prepared at the bench. Material purity is likely 99% or higher. Remember that the general toxicology studies are part of the preclinical safety package for CTA or IND application and enablement of clinical trials. These safety studies cover not just the safety of the drug substance, the active pharmaceutical ingredient or API, but also impurities within the drug substance. Impurities can lead to some problems. Let's see what those problems might be. If the IND application is successful, then clinical trials can be initiated. The drug used for clinical trials is called clinical trial material, or CTM, and must be prepared under GMP, Good Manufacturing Practice, compliant procedures. The amount of clinical trial material required will likely exceed what can be made in a typical synthetic lab, and scale-up will be performed in a kilo lab to support very early trials. Here's where the problems begin. Scaling up a reaction can change the impurity profile of the drug. You can see more impurities. Furthermore, purification can become more difficult at large scale. Because IND application approval is tied to the impurities in the general toxicology material, changes in the identity or increases in impurities can hold up a clinical trial until the issue is resolved. Impurities may need to be identified and or qualified, which means the impurity will need to be synthesized and tested separately for toxicity. This issue, the appearance of new impurities or impurities in higher concentration, is somewhat common. How can this potential problem be avoided? An easy way to avoid having impurities pose a problem as a compound transitions from discovery to development is to prepare the GMP batch of material before toxicology studies are performed. The GMP batch must be large enough to cover the needs of both preclinical safety studies and early clinical trials. Being from a common batch, the impurity profile will match across all studies. Of course, this approach does require advanced planning, and the general toxicology studies may be delayed as transitioning to a GMP-compliant process may require additional time. The challenge of changing impurity identities and amounts falls somewhat outside the topic of lead optimization, but it is related to how the lead is synthesized, which affects potential impurities and safety risks. We listed representative purities of compounds used in preclinical studies, with purities increasing in later studies. We also discussed how inconsistencies in compound purity can greatly complicate the use of that compound in clinical trials. I hope you have a better understanding of how compound purity is more and more important as a substance advances in a drug discovery program. I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.